Hey y'all, it's your favorite on. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below to Nightcap YouTube channel so you never miss a single live stream or video of myself, Ocho, and Gil. Remember, Nightcap doesn't happen without you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thank you. Cowboys uh, suffer. Yeah. I, for my estimation, this is the most humiliating. This is the most pathetic. This is the most embarrassing loss, playoff loss for the Cowboys. Because Ocho, at one point in time, they were down 48-16. Now, you can look at the final score and say, man, if you didn't watch the game, you're like, oh, okay, there was only game, two scores. Yeah, it was closer than you thought. No, it wasn't. No, yeah. it wasn't. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, remember when the Cowboys beat the Commanders on Thanksgiving, 45-10? Just what Jerry said. I don't know if I've had a day like this. And I'll include them all. I'll put the Super Bowls in there. I don't know if I've had a, a better day than with the Cowboys than today. Jerry said he thinks this year's Cowboys team could go all the way to the Super Bowl. Hold on. I got more for you, Ocho. Remember, uh, Micah, in week one? We're making a statement. I've been trying to make – hold on. We're making the statement that I've been trying to make. We're the best defense in the National Football League. Today, Micah Parsons showed up in a Bobby Boucher jersey. Everybody mm -hmm. know Waterboy. Bobby yeah. Boucher wreck shop. Now, if yeah. you show up in a Bobby Boucher jersey, mm -hmm. you got a wreck shop, Ocho. Yeah. Michael Parsons has one quarterback pressure on 19 rushes, the lowest pressure rate in a game in his NFL career. Mm. Mm. The Green Bay, I kept telling you, o Ocho, I tried mm -hmm. to tell you about that defense. Yeah. I tried to tell you all year about this Cowboys team. I yeah. said, Ocho, if that defense do not turn you over, mm -hmm. if they don't get scooping scores and pick sixes mm -hmm. and set right. that offense up, I said, the marginals, Ocho, no, man, that, man, that CD. But yeah, now, if you look at the stats. Oh, they got to have great stats. You yeah. look at these stats. Hold on. Let me get it. Hold on. Let me put this up here. I got to get it. Oh, that threw for 400 yards, CD. Yeah. Look at what the, how many yards they had when the score was six minutes left in the ball game mm -hmm. and the score was 48 16. What right. did Dak have? Empty yeah. calories. Yeah. You when you eat empty calories, you get fat. Mm. You get fat. It's and tough. Look at, yeah. It's oh, tough. Aaron Maybe. Jones had two rush touchdowns all year. He had three in one game. Yeah. It is 21 it's, for a buck 18. Ran through him, went through him like foreign water through a tourist. Yeah, you know what happens when you go out of the country and you drink water, Ocho. What happened? Yeah, <laughs> oh, it, 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 it get it runs, mm -hmm. it get it runs. Any matter of fact, that's how Aaron Jones any, went through him. Anytime you go to Mexico, they tell you the first thing to do: don't drink the water. Montezuma's revenge. <laughs> Listen, tonight, I even asked myself after watching the game, um, the law, the loss in itself. I felt bad for Cowboys fans. Oh no, I don't. Oh no, I feel, I, I feel bad because mm -hmm. every year, stay with me, baby. Every year it's the same thing. It's the same thing. This is our year. The regular season goes beautiful. Uh, you win some of the games you're supposed to win. Okay, you have a few slip ups, but then you get back on track, and it puts all the fans in a in a in a position of of, of hope. Then you have Jerry Jones. Then you have Jerry Jones. He's always coming out. He's always at the forefront. He's always the focal point of, of everything that's going on. He does all the talking for the team. He knows the injuries. He reports who's going to play, who's not going to play. I mean, this is the best team we've ever had. I think part of the problem is Jerry in 28 years. They haven't won. They haven't mm -hmm. won. They've had great seasons the past 20 years. But for some reason, Jerry Jones always being at the forefront, always being the focal point of the team. We know you're the owner. How about just taking a backseat for a change? Mm -mm. How about no. taking a backseat for a change and taking some of the pressure, the endured pressure that the team already going to have because they got the star on the helmet. We don't need you adding fuel to the fire. Just allow them boys to go out there and just play. I'm not saying that's the reason why they lost. I'm just saying, Jerry, let's try a different approach. He done tried change. everything. Let's try a he different after, approach for a change. After he done been nasty to Jimmy, talking about he going to put him and he'll put who he want in the ring of fame when he want to. He right. tried to change the mojo. He put Jimmy Johnson in the ring of fame, trying mm -hmm. to change the mojo. Didn't right. work. Right, right, right. Oh, trying to change the, the karma. Yeah. The karma. You, you, you got, know you why gotta, you had bad karma? You got, you, you got to always do right by people. Always. always do right. And Mike always. McCarthy did not do right by Kellen Moore. Oh, oh, I want to call the play. Plays, we right. gonna run the ball more. We mm -hmm. gonna run the ball. Mm -hmm. You look worse this year than you did last. The last two years with Kelly Moore calling the plays. Yeah, I mean, you couldn't run the football. You didn't run the football. All 
and the defense. Oh, I'm so mm -hmm. oh, this pressure defense. I keep yeah. telling you, you yeah. play that nickel defense with those safeties playing like linebackers, mm -hmm. they ain't got enough bricks in their back pocket. So yeah. when them guards dig up on them. And those mm -hmm. tight ends get on those little small ass like those linebackers mm -hmm. that safeties really. Mm -hmm. You see what's happening? Yeah. Aaron yeah. Jones getting eight, nine, ten yards a clip. Carry, yeah. That's what happened. You better have somebody that can drop anchor. Yeah. I mean, listen, we saw it when they played the Bills. We saw it when they played the Cardinals. You how saw it they when successful? they played the 49ers. When they played the 49ers. How about how you are those when they played the Eagles? When the Eagles, yeah. Running the ball, running the mm -hmm. ball. I mean, talk about we're not talking about the outside, we talk about straight right downhill, right, right down downhill the because de defensively they are a little undersized. They're a little, under they're a little undersized sideline to sideline. Oh man, they run yes. with you all day, like a four by one team, like a four by one track team. They run with you all day. Mm -hmm. But to, ahead, tonight, ahead, tonight, listen, tonight's off. loss to it was, it was, it was, I hate using the word pathetic. It's beautiful. I hate saying that. I hate saying it was, it was, it was humiliate humiliating i hate saying that and i'm one it's it's just, it's just hard for me to do because you know how i am i even tweeted when the game got out of the hand i say twitter can y'all please find a reason give me something give me an idea because i know i'm gonna go crazy on the cowboys yeah. is there anything i can do is there anything i can say to defend what the fuck they put out there today no there was nothing 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 so i i have no choice my back is against the ball and it pains me to have to say that shit was embarrassing yeah for, uh, for, for us and I'm a as a football fan, as a former player, because I thought this was our year. Look, at, I'm saying our year, like I'm part of the Cowboys. Yes, yes I'm a, I'm a fan of football, so I thought mm -hmm. it was their year. I was excited. I was excited. I I'm ready for Dak the motherfucking get to the goddamn promised land and get all these motherfuckers off his back. God, I mean, y'all forgive me for cursing. Y'all stay with me for a little bit now, because I'm upset. I thought it was. Why our you year. upset? Huh? I've been prepared. Ocho, you see what I'm saying? I prepared you this. See, like you said, you want financial literacy. You want people to listen to you. When you give them advice, right, you right. want people to take your advice. Right. I've been preparing you this for 19 weeks. I wanted him to prove you wrong. I want. I wanted Dak and that team and that offense and that defense to prove you wrong. I wanted Dak and that team and that offense to prove every naysayer wrong. I wanted I to prove it. Stephen A. Smith wrong. And at times it looked good throughout the season. At times it looked good. There, there, there were some slip ups. There were some stalls. There was, a, but I said, you know what? Come hella high water, come playoff time. I guarantee you, it was gonna be a different Cowboys team. Oh, Joe. Listen, the first series, something was off. The first series, the energy, the body language. Yeah, what's up? Green Bay was knee deep in them. That's what was up. <laughs> Green Bay got the ball and went right down the field. Do you, Ocho, do you know how demoralizing it is when the right. base of your team is the defense and a mm -hmm. young team that averaged 24 years of age right. gets the football and go right and stick right down the field? Them? Yeah. 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 Hey, hey. You got the football. Ocho, think about it. You mm -hmm. win the toss. Yeah. You defer. Deferred. Yeah, you defer. So why you defer? You say, I want my dogs out there. The defense. Jordan Lusser, give me all you got. <laughs> Jordan Lusser, give me all you got. Whatever you got, give me, give me some of that. I keep telling people all along. See, people laugh when I say the Cowboys are like Duke freshman hoopers. One and done. Ooh. That's what they are. You know, when you go to Duke and you're a basketball player, you right. one and done. You got to be good. Though. Zion, got, Kyrie, Tatum, yeah, got, Ingram, yeah. they, they yeah. one and done. You got to be that boy, yeah. yeah. Cowboys come to the playoff time, one mm -hmm. and done. Yeah. They do you know all what? that yapping. Yeah, like what? Uh, take you to church or T Pain Church? Yeah, man, they need they they out of this is embarrassing. Yeah, they had a they got a faulty water hung on them, a sprinkle me, Omo, big Omo timer, fit, Omo fifty burger, huh? At home, almost oh, a fifty burger. Oh, you remember? <coughs> we won sixteen straight at home. Uh -huh. We score fifty. We score one hundred and twenty-seven mm -hmm. points a game at home. Yeah. Man, I, I, I thought Green that's Bay what that got to do with us. Yeah, I thought that's what we were gonna get tonight. I really thought that's what we were gonna get tonight. I was bored. I was boarding my plane four thirty. I I tell you no lie. I was leaving Atlanta. I said, "Baby, this is finna be the motherfucking day." With that star on the helmet, shut everybody up. So I was ready. I'm excited for nightcap. I'm excited for nightcap because I know I'm gonna be able to fire back at um. I don't be able to fire back at everybody that says something negative about the Cowboys. As a fan, I wanted this for Dak. As someone on the outside looking in, and I understand what he has to deal with because it's America's team. I remember Makai Parsons, Michael Parsons complaining earlier. Why y'all always on Dak head? Why y'all always talk about him? Nah, we on you your head, these, not Michael. Now, now we you got all these other quarterbacks out here. Y'all don't treat y'all don't treat him the same way y'all treat Dak. 
now you have a better understanding on why. Okay. Now you have a better understanding on why. Because for one, you got your owner that won't get out the team. Bumping his gums. Always bumping his gum. And I got I hear people talk about, well, yeah, yep, maybe they need to go get Bill Belichick. You think Bill Belichick, he don't even let his own players talk. You think he even to come to that madness over there? No. Where he have no power? And Jerry Jones going to relinquish the power so he can build a team that he needs to to be adequate and compete week in and week out, especially in the playoffs, so this doesn't happen again? Probably not. Them young boys was cooking. I don't care who the DBs were, whatever side they line up on. Yeah. Romeo Dobbs said, give me him. Yeah. Krispy Kreme one side. They said, we got all the Krispy Kremes you want on one mm-hmm. side, barbecue chicken on the other. Yeah. Re- yeah, Dobbs, Watson, you know, uh, yeah. Reed, Reed, Melton. And you know what the funny thing Cooking. is about when you're young, when you're young like that, when you're young like Jordan Love, when you're and you're young like that, so that uh that supporting can Jordan Love has to work with. Yeah, listen, we ain't even supposed to be here to begin with, and we ain't got nothing to worry about. So we just go out go out here and play free. You know what mm-hmm. it feels like to play free, to have no worries. Hey, we ain't supposed to be here any goddamn well. It's no different than the motherfucking Texans. With a pressure. We have nothing to lose. We're not supposed to be here anyway. So mm-hmm. it's easy to go out there and just play free. Free will, nothing to worry about, and just have fun. Because at the end of the day, it's still football. On the other side, on the flip side of things, the Cowboys, look what all that comes with. Wow. Why, why Offensively, why they look so different today? Off the, off the rip, the first series, something was off. Everybody, body language. You could tell. Something was off. Mm-hmm. CD that pr- and got that Dad. pressure. Listen, CD and Dak, they always in sync, especially off the rip. Look at the numbers they put up the five, the past five, six yes! weeks together. But all of a sudden, the night is different in the game where it matters the fucking most. Oh, Joe. Oh, God, that, forgive that, me. I keep cursing. I'm, my bad, my bad. Oh, Joe, I know, because you hurt. You hurt. You want You want to come in here. You want to get on. Oh, you want to come in here. Oh, God. Oh, God, God. Oh, look at yeah, oh, I, oh. I did. I ain't got no leverage. I ain't got no leverage. No. No. No, you don't. And they knew, and I knew it, that pressure. You see what happens when you play at home? The only difference is that when you play at home and you lose, you got 85,000 fans leaving that stadium. Mm. And you see, they wanted home field. We the number two seed. Okay, Mm -hmm. so now what you going to do with it? They get the ball and go down the field and score on you. Right. Uh Uh-oh. You punt. Mm -hmm. They get the ball and go back down the field. Uh Uh-oh. Damn. Now all of a sudden, they get the ball and go down again. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. And then we know when that when they go that motion and they run that try to run that three by one, mm-hmm. we know that first guy gonna go through and that gonna try to hit CD. Yeah. Savage passed it off. Say I ain't even worried about you throwing to yeah. Brandon Cook because on yeah. film I've never seen you throw him that slant right yeah. from the slot. You throw yeah. the CD. You throw the second the second guy. He yeah. passed it off and boop boop he came and got it. Came. And uh, got it. hello. How may I help you? Yes, I like to have a reservation for six. Uh, what time will you be arriving? <laughs> I'm pulling up right now. <laughs> to the house he went. Yeah. Hey, listen, oh, man. it hurt. Very, very, that- very smart. Very smart on Savage's part. Listen, that, that ain't nothing but film study, understanding formation, and route recognition and knowing what's coming. Because he sat right in between the one and the two. Yes. He could have he went with Brandon Banks right away. He chose, he let it go. Being yes. nosy like a goddamn robber and came on down. He beat CD to the goddamn ball. Right. Because here's the thing, Ocho. On film, I've never seen you throw Brandon Cooks. To... Why would you throw a five foot six a slant over the middle? Right. I know you're trying to clear so that you have the bigger window mm-hmm. for the bigger receiver coming mm-hmm. in behind. Coming in behind you, yeah. Savage, pretend like, oh, yeah, I'm going to go. No, I'm not. I think I just stay right here and wait. Mm hmm. And that's that, that's tough, man. That's in tough. a situation like that, Ocho, just don't drop it, right? Because the, the ball go, the ball's coming. Mm-hmm. You're not gonna do what you haven't done all year. And all year, what have they done in a situation like that? Throw the ball to CD. Yeah, throw the number two every time. Actually, they shouldn't even got a touchdown because DeAndre Campbell dropped another pick. Dak should have had three picks right before the half. Yeah. He undercut Jake Ferguson and dropped it. Mm-hmm. And Matter then fact, on the fourth down, the mm-hmm. left guard moved. Move, yeah. They didn't call it. They didn't call it. They though. didn't call it. He moved. They didn't, call it. they didn't call it. But you know who pick was nice though, which was some great defense. Oh, oh, a hey, Jair boy. And I, I, t- I tweeted, I tweeted it before the game. I say I'm, I'm curious and I'm excited about the matchup today because I wonder if Zaire and Ceedee Lamb. I wonder if he would follow. <laughs> 
Because I say I understand their strengths, and I know Zaire is really, really good in man to man and being up there in bump and run. And he showed you a small sample size of that in that bump and run play. <clears throat> excuse, but uh, it was damn near a jerk release from the outside. Damn near a jerk release, mm -hmm. and man, he was he was on that. He was on Brandon on that. But here's the thing. Cooks is a small receiver, mm -hmm. so it's hard for him to play through contact. Right. Okay. You I see, see I yeah, you, yeah, you yeah, see yeah, how yeah. when John here came, how he turned yeah. him? Yeah. He so did, now normally a big body, you're gonna collide yeah. and everybody mm -hmm. go this separate mm -hmm. way mm -hmm. and the ball hit the dirt hit the dirt or something. Right, right. But Cooks is such a small receiver, it's hard for him to play through contact. Right. So he needs he needs space to operate in. Mm -hmm. You're asking an awful lot. And mm -hmm. he clued it. Listen, you see that that take that in the shotgun. He yeah. takes two steps and pull up. You ain't running no go about. You ain't running no go from there. Mm -hmm. You're running but you a slant. You heard what you just said? He has to he gotta Brandon Cook's gotta create the space. You gotta create the space. If you're a smaller receiver, then you have to yeah. win with what you do best, using your footwork, being able to transition, get in and out. Take Zaire Alexander somewhere he think you're going and bring his ass back on home. Somewhere right. where you're not going to be. But he wasn't able to do that. He was impatient on the route and coming back in. He Hell, he didn't sell it enough. Wasn't nobody buying that the first time. That's why Zaire was able to beat him back inside. Zaire said, I ain't buying that two for a dollar. <laughs> Second of all, Ocho, if you're in the shotgun, right. if I, if, and Zaire, if you watch him, he's cluing. Mm -hmm. That gets the ball and pulls up. He ain't finna throw no goal. No, he no, throwing no, a slant. No, no. no, I'm driving. No. Right. I'm driving, and yeah. I got a five foot. I got a five foot six, five foot seven, one hundred and seventy pound receiver. I'm mm -hmm. gonna play through him. Yeah, which is what I'm he playing did. through him. Play right oh man, through. Ocho, we broke. We got a record. We got eighty three thousand people live in the chat. Please, Rip. guys, if you're in the chat, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that like button, guys. We really Wait, appreciate we this because you know you're gonna go eighty three thousand. Listen, uh, I like to all 83,000 of you watching. This ain't really me. I don't curse like this. I'm, I'm a little upset. I apologize for you on behalf he, of myself upset. and my family. I'm, I apologize. I, I don't move like that. Yeah, but but see, he don't want to listen to me. I try I, I try to prepare him. What I try to do, I try to prepare my co-host, which is Ocho. I try to prepare him for this moment. I said, Ocho, you're going to get your hopes up. Every year you turn around, this is the Cowboys. This is their best chance. What's so different about this chance? I remember when they had 10 pro bowlers. I remember when they, remember when they had Tony Romo. They had Marion the Barbarian. They had Jason Witten. They had mm. T.O. They had the D-Ware. D, D they mm. had 10 pro bowlers. So why was that? I remember when that, when they had, look at all the all pros. Tyron Smith is the all pro. The left guard is the all pro. Mm. Uh, uh, Zach Martin is the all pro. Your mm. quarterback is an all pro. C.D. Mm. Lamb is an all pro. Mm. Y'all keep telling me this is their best chance. Every year is their best chance. Nobody has drafted more Pro Bowlers since 2010 other than the Kansas City Chiefs. The Cow only difference is the Kansas City Chiefs have been to three Super Bowls, one, two. The Cowboys right. ain't been to squad douche. 